Well, new tonight, Austin city leaders are looking to make some big moves against climate change. It comes as University of Texas researchers say we're going to see more climate disasters moving forward. KXAN's Grace Reader explains. If it seems like we've done a lot of stories about the city of Austin and climate change lately, it's because we have. From Mayor Kirk Watson directing the city to shut down its portion of the coal-powered Fayette power plant. No later than January of, of 2029. To the possibility of a climate change bond election later this year. We are in the midst of a climate crisis. City council members say this issue is a big focus for them right now, and they're not done. Council member Ryan Alter is back with more climate agenda items to be voted on over the next couple of weeks. One, to incentivize companies doing work with the city of Austin to be greener. Two of the areas where we're going to have an initial focus is on lawn care equipment uh, and concrete. And the other to make it easier for you to switch your lawn care equipment to options that are better for the environment. What we want to do is say, hey, if you've got an old gas lawnmower that you want to trade in for an electric one, we're going to boost that rebate. Councilmember Mackenzie Kelly also has a resolution coming up that, if approved, would create an educational campaign about the city's Water Wise program. Through that program, you can get money back for having sustainable landscaping. We actually specifically in this resolution put in uh, multi-language access for this program. I think it's really important to find alternative ways to get information out that could benefit the community. An assistant professor of climate science at the University of Texas highlighted the need for local governments to take action on climate change because if they don't ultimately it's going to mean more damages for our communities so more infrastructure that doesn't work the way that we need it to work people's lives and livelihoods being put in danger grace reader kxan news and austin city council has back-to-back -back meetings this thursday and next that's when they're going to vote on the items brought forward by council members alter and kelly well a